Hello everyone and welcome back to part 32 of Build a HMS Victory. Okay, so after my last video, I'd finished off all the, uh, the dextry mouldings for transom. So as you can notice, I spent all day yesterday starting to uh, build up all the side of the gallery. I didn't film it because I, I, obviously I'm not working from any plans. I'm having to work just from photos. So I kind of had to kind of work it out what I was going to do myself. So that's why I didn't film it. But also is I didn't film it, so I can do. All the port side yeah so I can completely work on the uh, the port side now the gallery it'll be over two videos it took about eight hours yesterday to, to do all that starboard side of the gallery so I'll probably do it up to a halfway section and then in the next video I'll complete it but anyway let's get building okay one of the first things I need to do is I just want to close this window slightly I don't want it quite as large so obviously I'm just going to obviously bring the moulding down and obviously bring a little bit of trim up. So the first thing I did obviously on the starboard side is I used a bit of 1.1, sorry. I used a 1.5 by 1.5 and this is just the wood that came with the kit. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it slightly above the uh, the moulding we had in the last episode. You know, obviously you just make the, uh, the moulding, we can see in the picture I'll put on the screen now makes it look a little bit bigger okay so I'll just put a little bit of super glue on the back of there I'm just gonna hold that in place a few seconds while the glue takes now the glue's dry all I'm gonna do is obviously I could have I could have cut it before but it's okay I'm just gonna I was following the the mitre corner of the uh, decorative model we had last time I just made a pencil mark I'm just gonna slice this That's a nice 45 that I'll carry on. So I've just made some marks of 15 mil above the uh, the little one we one we put on last time, 1.5. Like I said to you, obviously this is not a moulding I'm using, but I'll show you them slightly taking away some of the window. Just taking a measurement about five mil. I'm just gonna transfer it. That's there. Because when you add in these, obviously all the decorative features that come along the galley, you don't want it any of them protruding the bottom one. You don't want any any longer. I was playing them anyway to put a piece of wood on. So obviously when you put your decorative moulding on, you don't want any of them like there. Because that's going to obviously look odd, look odd. So you just need to make sure that everyone is tapered back to that line. And then they'll all kind of go up in unison. Okay, so I've just added two 15 mil pieces of scrap. Just so it's going to raise this next part of the uh, trim I'm adding. It's going to hold it in the right position like I say it's, it's closing up about 2 mil of the window but it's not an issue because I think the, the bottom window looks out of scale in any case compared to if you actually look at the real model there's not such a massive scale difference between the windows Okay, because this section is going to be behind all the line of decorative castings. I've got a rail somewhere, I'll, just, I'll put it down somewhere, I can't find it, so I could have showed you what I was meaning. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all this section in with, I'm going to replank it. I've just got some 0.5 by 4 mil cedar. And I'm just going to replank all this section. I 
one just hold that for a second while the glue goes off. So I've just had another layer of planking. All I want to do is I want to try, try and get this edge to stick down a little bit more. But I don't want to directly pin it into the plank because it's only 0.3mm. So sometimes it just split very easy. So if you ever get this situation where you want a plank but you don't want a plank, just obviously just get a scrap and then just pin it above here. And all that I'll do is act as a pin. So this arm, even though you pinned it there, this arm will press in and keep it against. So I can just use another one. And what that'll do is just that'll keep them pinned. So in fact, I just left that to uh, to dry, let that move up. I actually just want to work on this section. So we'll see while that's dry. It's going to add this decorative trim. Okay, I'll put a picture on screen so you can kind of see what I'm working to. But all I've made, obviously, I checked the to get the gap of the distance between the windows. We got about 3.3. So I made this trim with, and I made it with. Don't know if you can see that very well. I just made that using a 2.5 mil by one mil plank, and I added two pieces of one mil by 0.5 mil. So that's giving me a distance, a measurement of 3.5. So when I put it over these windows. to give a nice impression not perfect to scale but obviously you want to you want to try and add enough detail so what I'm going to do is just measure it just mark it across the angle okay so I'll just come back to length I'm just going to dry fit it It's really nice and so I just cut a second one exactly the same way. I'm just gonna glue and fit it in place. I'm gonna admit this is going a lot quicker than yesterday when I did the starboard side. Well like I say, I've said it before and people you probably agree with me. These uh, models are very much ships are too hard. You do one side so much quicker than you do the other side. Okay, so I just want to fill in this little gap with planking. Also, as it comes down, it's all like that. But if the first window is nicely angled that way. Okay, after a couple of attempts, happy with that angle. I read you guys comments and obviously I always try and reply to them and it's nice that I'm starting to get a bit of a following from obviously all around the world I've got a guy from Brazil and a guy from Puerto Rico commented the other day so yeah if you're watching this now and obviously you can get access to leave a comment yeah just leave me a comment let me know where you're watching it from I find it interesting so you can just cut the second piece I'm just going to fit that in now. Yeah, but that looks okay. That's going to blend in nice when it's all painted. Okay, so I'm just moving on to the last window framing. This one's a lot larger than these three. So I'm going to make this out of a six be one with two planks either side just to give the uh, definition okay so I've just got some dextry molding this has just been made up by just gluing three planks together I used a 0 0.5 by 3 a 0 0.5 by 2 and a 1 by 1 just glued together and clamped got a comment in the last video about it, so obviously asking obviously if I can show you how to make these and I will do going forward but at the minute I just don't feel like I've got the cameras that are good enough that you can actually see what I'm doing but obviously I'm slowly starting to upgrade things so look out for that video so I'm just going to put the decorative moulding 
just above that first trib. So I'm just going to mark it. Try and get it from this side. Yep, just mold that. I'm just going to cut it at 45 degrees. Okay, so I'll just cut this mold into a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to glue it into there. We'll use super glue again. What well, I've noticed, obviously, because this wood's very dry and it's not been sanded sealed. You could sand it sealed a bit, but obviously, as you build it, so I'm going to just going to slightly just dampen the wood. And when you apply the super glue, it just tends to grab there. Okay, so the glue's drying up on the uh, on the last section I've made. Like I say, it's just pretty much double the size of that one. So mark this. And cut that to length. Okay, so. This section's all dried up now. It's ready to be fitted. Okay, like I say, it's not, it's not perfect to scale, it's not exactly accurate, but it looks 100 times better, I think, than obviously, as I've said before, if I build the instructions. I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can kind of see how we would be looking now if we got to this stage in the instructions. Only, the only thing different is obviously I haven't added the, added the windows. Like I say, so you can see how much I've kind of lost. That's not such a massive issue, I'll just trim the windows down because I might still use these. Okay, so we're just moving the way up. I'm just carrying on planking all the way up slightly more. And this is the reason obviously why I really plank that for. So see on the picture you get these little like casted ballast rails or decorative finnels. So obviously I'm I what I've done is obviously I've glued them together like that. So obviously I can make it a lot easier to Obviously, attach them. It's obviously easy. I can paint that in a strip like that, and I'll see, and then I can fit it after all the investors have been painted. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm just going to rest it, just using a one, one by one, no plank, and I'm just going to rest it on that. I'm just going to get my pencil. I'm just going to draw a pencil line. That's the pencil mark from where the top of the, uh, where the railing's going to go. So then I want another mill separation before I add the next. It could be on the window board, bottom of the windows. Slide 45. Okay, let's we'll glue that in place. Okay, so I've added some super glue to this section. Well, I'm just feeling it a little bit easier to slip onto while it's held. Same as before, 
two parts being a bit tricky to stick. You can pretty much do the same technique as I used last time. Just, just pin it above and then all that's easy. Just, just like a finger, this is going to stop there for a while. if you're going to make any marks in this section because obviously as you're working up you're going to cover it but all I'll do is I'll just hold that nice and tight while the glue goes off so while the glue is drying I'll just slip this baluster rail in just so you can have a bit of an idea of what it'll look like when it's finished okay so the glue is dry on this stage I'm going to leave the video there for today obviously, obviously it's going to be probably at 20 minutes so I think that's enough I say so if you join me next time I'm going to carry on working up my way up the top of the gallery and you should get it finished on the next video so if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel already don't forget to subscribe I'll see you and uh, hit the bell notification so you can see when I'm uploading and I'll see you all next time